Hey friends, uh, Palo Guy here uh, with the weekly update from Sunday, August 8th through Saturday, August 14th. Um, we're in the new moon now, so it's a, a time of starting new things, a time of building. Um, it can be a productive week, especially since we have, like the moon's moving into Gemini now, and in my opinion, it's a great time for getting organized, uh, cleaning your house, getting rid of clutter and such. You know, it's really a good time to like get things in order. Uh, part of me is kind of planning to have a yard sale sometime soon. Um, if any, if any of you have ever been to my home, Bill and I have stuff. We have lots of stuff. Every inch of wall space is covered, as you can see, just here in my office. Um, our closets are packed full of stuff. You know, we just buy all this stuff thinking like, oh, we have to have it. And then there, there it lays, there it stays. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to plan that for the next couple weeks. Maybe in September I'll have a yard sale. So I'll let you know. And then you can all come to my house and buy my stuff. Uh, so anyway, this past weekend was my birthday weekend. Um, as you know, my, Friday was my birthday. I turned 48. And I went to the Philadelphia area to spend the weekend with my friend, uh, Michael Meehan, the Philly Broker that I talk about a lot, and his husband. So we had a great time. On Friday, we went to a town called Media in Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia. It's in Delaware County. Um, it's the county seat. And there was a historical tour. I was calling it a ghost walk, but that, that's not really appropriate um, or accurate. Um, we met up with... Lori Hole and Matt Lake. They are the authors of Gothic Media, uh, a tour about some of the more colorful historical goings on in the town of Media. And a lot of it has sort of a supernatural bend to it or a psychological bend to it. Um, it was such a cool tour because just in like this like three block radius of this town, there's so much awesome history that took place. And, you know, like, murders and crazy people and suicides and there's some ghosts and there was even a witch and like it was just really cool uh uh media i honestly i don't even think i ever heard of media until friday um such a great town now delaware county tends to run like a, a conservative county but then you get into media in delaware county and it's very much progressive there's more diversity way more culture uh just a lot of cool things so it's definitely more it's definitely like the progressive hub in an otherwise Repub not Repub uh, conservative county so I recommend going to media it's a great place to go uh, lots of outdoor dining and restaurants this trolley car that goes down the middle of the street. anyway very cool so Laurie Hole and Matt Lake check it out gothic media if you're interested in Pennsylvania history which of course I am um, so that's that. So this week we have, weather-wise, it's going to be a scorcher. Uh, we're looking at every day in the 90s. Uh, in a couple of days, it's going to feel like it's 100. That's hot. Um, with those high temperatures comes the humidity, which means there's always chances of thunderstorms. Uh, we may not see as many storms this week, but there's, it's always going to be a chance. Of course, as is tradition here, Towards the end of the week, Thursday-ish or so, that's when we'll really see the increased chance for storms. And it looks like next weekend's going to be kind of rainy, which that's okay. We'll take it. Um, the for planting and harvesting, I don't have I don't have much to talk about there, just because we're not in a planting kind of stage here in Pennsylvania. So this week, especially like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, is best for killing weeds and pests. And with that, I need to bring up the spotted lanternfly. That is becoming a real problem. The spotted lanternflies are extremely destructive. Literally the only remedy for spotted lanternflies is to kill them. It makes you feel bad, you see them, they're kind of interesting and pretty looking, but uh, you kill them immediately. Now they, they like to jump. They like to hop away when you try and like stomp on them. Um, but they usually they have a couple good hops in them and then they kind of run out of energy. So as long as you can track their movement, you can eventually catch up to them. And uh, 
not nice, but necessary. Uh, don't let them go. Don't let them go out of pity because if you see one, that means there's millions of them. And you're going to start seeing the destruction of all the plants and trees in your area. That's all they do is destroy everything. So you see them, you kill them. They say uh, if they're in weeds, you don't want to do this with like actual plants or vegetables. But if they're in weeds, um, you can spray those weeds with vinegar and it will kill the bugs. And it may also kill the weeds. Uh, otherwise, dish soap is thought to kill them. Salt, of course. But you don't want to ruin your own grass. You know, so it's kind of tricky. The best thing to do is squash them. If you see the eggs, they're like little uh, gray clusters of eggs on the trees. You have to destroy them. Like they say, scrape them off the trees, double bag them and throw them away. Uh, so do that. But yeah, you see that spotted lanternfly or any evidence of them? Kill it. Um, you know, we don't get a break, do we? We have this deadly virus and then we move into uh, the locusts or whatever it was that came out of the ground and now we're the spotted lantern fly like I'm telling you now you, you know maybe you're gonna hear it here first but the COVID variants are coming back with a vengeance and I truly believe we're headed for another lockdown nobody wants that you know, those idiots will be out there protesting and saying their freedoms are being taken away, whatever, but people aren't following, you know, uh, safety precautions. Yeah, they say the mask mandate has lifted. Wear your goddamn mask when you go out of the house. When you go to the grocery store, put that fucking thing on your face. Pardon my French, but I see all these people like at the grocery store and such, and they're like, I ain't wearing no mask. I'm still wearing mine. I don't want to get sick again. Um... And we're not vaccinated against the variants. All the vaccine does is make us less sick if we get COVID. It doesn't prevent us from getting it. It doesn't prevent the people around us from getting it. We can still get it and spread it. Uh, it just makes us less likely to die from it. You don't get the vaccine, eh, you're more likely to die. And you know what? I have no sympathy because there you go. So anyway, I'm sick of the virus. I'm sick of all these variants. I'm sick of being sick, I'm sick of shutdowns and masks and everything, just like everybody else. But you know what? We got to do it. So put your damn mask on and get over yourself. Um, so anyway, sorry I went off on that, but uh, put your mask on. Um, so that's really all I had to say for this week. Uh, I do have some things coming up. Um, this coming Saturday, I'm going up to Schuylkill County to powwow for a woman who reached out to me. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting her and just hearing her story and talking with her. And I'm taking my son with me. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to at least provide comfort to her, if nothing else. You know, powwow is not an instant cure. Powwow is not the miracle um, that some people wish that it was. I wish it was. But... You know, God willing, it will have some some positive effect for her. Uh, let's say, oh, yesterday, uh, Bill had a great uh, great big birthday party for me. Uh, it wasn't big. There was maybe, I'll say eight people, eight to ten people here. Friends we have not seen in several years, which was nice. Everybody who was here was vaccinated. Um, so we were very, very uh, sure about that. Um, but we had a good time. It was nice to see our friends again. Lots of food and such. Anyway. Uh, that's it. Sorry, I was distracted by my dog. But nothing else going on. There'll be more coming. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. Stay cool. Watch for those spotted lantern flies. Uh, use the waxing moon to be productive this week. Use the moon in Virgo to get organized. Um, get your houses in order and such, and, you know, wear your mask, stay healthy, love you guys, God bless you, and we'll talk soon.